In today's day and age, selling things online, you know, I could go days without leaving here, like wedding related, like invitations, things like that that I make, that's all online. With, with respect to art, like selling art online, I find it's much easier to sell art in person. And people are much more inclined to buy it from me when they talk to me and they see like how you make it and what you're making. I think that the best way that I like to approach watercolor painting is, you know, you put some paint on the brush and put on the paper. That's a commitment. You can't take it off, you can't change it. And, and it can be kind of, I don't want to say scary, but it is scary because you, you got to have the courage to do it, right? I, I've been doing this in one way or another for three, almost four decades now. And then it's that whole process from, let's say you're making paint and then you make the painting and you take it somewhere and then people look at it and they're thinking, okay, what's going to happen? Do they like it? You know, and someone says, oh, I love that. And you're like, whew. And I don't think you ever get used to that. My, uh, my ongoing joke with some friends um, is people say, oh, I really like that. And I say, oh, you should buy it. Um, that's my selling feature. Yeah. That, or my selling tactic, I guess, right? You should buy it. Yeah. I would like that. Yeah. <laughs> One small step for my man. Yes.